What is up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to be going over the instrument cluster and the screen in front of the steering wheel of the Toyota Tacoma. Let's get right to it. All right, so this is the area that I'm going to be talking about today. And a lot of people have asked me how I have my miles per gallon, for instance, like this, where I can actually hold to reset it and keep tracking my miles per gallon, it goes back to zero. And there's just a couple different things that you may not know. Even some of them were new for me. And I'm just gonna briefly go over some of those things that may be new to you if you haven't messed with this area already. All right, so first thing, basically when you turn on the truck, this is the first thing you guys are gonna see. So each individual slot is actually customizable. So you can put like distance to empty or distance fuel or whatever you wanna put. And the way to flip through these is using these buttons right here. So if I go down, it's gonna go down on this. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the actual settings of this. So you're gonna go all the way to the right, settings, and now, so here is drive info. These right here are gonna be the ones where it has an I, and you guys will see right here on the left, that is an I. So that's the driving info, and you guys can change them. So let's go ahead and change some. So drive info one. So this is digital speed, but you can actually pick and maybe you want to look at, let's see, your distance, how much you've started traveling. So you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna go back, back one more time. And so now that I turn on my truck, this is the first one on this screen, and it says distance, and then I can actually hold to reset, reset my distance, and now my distance is zero. So I like to leave this at digital speed. So, oops, so digital speed. I think that comes stock like that anyways, but maybe on the bottom you wanna have, let's see, or maybe you wanna just leave it blank so we can put blank and go back and that's how it's gonna be. So it's kind of just blank there and when you're driving, it'll tell you the speed and nothing is gonna be under it. Right here, time until rest. So this is actually basically gonna tell you when you need a coffee break and that is when you have lane departure alert on and you can access that through right here and it'll show you the warning. If you put it on, you can actually put sensitivity, which means if you touch the lane a couple times, it's gonna tell the truck that, hey, this guy needs a coffee break, you need to focus up, and right here. So if you keep touching the lanes, this is actually gonna go green. It'll tell you, hey, it's time for a rest. But I don't like having that warning on, I just leave it off. All right, well, let us move on to the one on the right. And this right here is gonna be lane assist. So you can turn that on and off using this button right here and it'll indicate that on the top right of the screen. So now it's off and now it's on. So that is lane departure alert and that'll just send you a little signal that, hey, you're getting out of the lane and it sends you a little beep. And the way you can actually customize that little beep is right here. You just click on this and you can actually put the sensitivity. So I like to have mine on high when I have it on just so it tells me, hey, you've touched the lane. And the second piece of this one is gonna be pressing down and it's gonna be your tire pressure. So right now, I just turned off my truck and I have it in accessory mode. So it's telling me check system charging. And so that message is gonna be right here. It's gonna be check system charging. So if you have any messages, this is where it's gonna pop up on this third one. And here it is telling me, but of course, because it's in accessory mode, I just turn on the truck and there's gonna be no more warnings when it turns back on. All right, and this is now the settings one all the way to the right. First one you're gonna click on is gonna be your pre-collision. So this one and this one you guys can actually use while you're driving, like you can mess with the sensitivity, but usually in the settings and other things you cannot. So pre-collision right here, you can turn this on or have it off. So I just turned it off and it's gonna give you a little indication right here in the bottom left that your pre-collision system is turned off. I think this is with 2018 and up. I'm not sure if the other ones have it. You guys can let me know. But now pre-collision system is on and you can put your sensitivity. So on high, just in case, you know, maybe you're not paying attention for a second and the car is close to one in front of you, this is automatically gonna make it stop. And right here is lane departure alert. We went through this right here. You can change the sensitivity. And then the settings one, just gonna be the language. You can pick whatever you want. And then this one is gonna be the units. Also mess with the temperature. So up top right there, that just changed 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you can also change your driving info, which we went through and now pop up display. Let's say I put it in drive, it covers the display. 
Now, if you don't want that, then what you do is you press shift position. And now I put my car in drive and it didn't cover the display. So now I put it in park and I'm gonna leave that on because I like seeing it. And now you can put your brightness is actually gonna not allow it to be changed with this button. And when you click the brightness again, which usually comes stock, then you're able to change it with this button right here. So what I'm actually doing is twisting it. I'm not pushing it. So right here like that, you can change the brightness that way. And if you don't want that to be messed with, then you can just unclick it like that. All right, and next one is gonna be the accent color. So you can make it blue, teal, red, this yellow. And let's see what happens if I make it red. And that just means this right here is gonna be red. And I kind of like that, it looks pretty nice. So maybe I'll just leave it. And now programming. So what you do with this button, let's say you want to go on your average fuel economy. Now you want to just hold this button and it'll say customize this button to the screen. You click yes. And now basically what happens is anywhere you are on the screen, you can just click this and it'll automatically take you back to the one you put customize on. So let's say I always want to keep it on my tire pressure. I'll do it again. Press that to that screen. And then I just press this button once and now it takes me automatically back to my tire pressure. All right, and next one is gonna be maintenance reset. So I'm not gonna reset this cause I take my car to the dealership and they reset it for me. And maybe when you do get an oil change, you can reset that. And now default settings, if you wanna return it to default, then that is basically it. So that is everything you need to know about all of the buttons on here. Maybe you guys did learn something, maybe you didn't, but either way, I just went through this just for some people's information. Maybe they don't know about this, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to respond to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you guys can please help out the channel by giving a quick like and a subscribe, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.